Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Weekly Tower reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your Capricorn week, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. The last, the uh, next one, excuse me, is going to be the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Four of Swords. And then the last one that we do have here, it is the Empress card, which stands for the Guidance. Alright, so... Um, before we go and scrutinize the reading here, uh, let's uh, run the cards one more time. Uh, Six of Pentacles, it is the topic, followed by uh, the uh, Eight of Swords, which stands for the challenges. Then we do have the Four of Swords, which represents the guidance, uh, the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one here, it is the Empress card, which stands for the guidance. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, Six of Pentacles, it is the topic and it is catalyzed by the Ten of Cups, so we do have a passive friend. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite of a, um, how do I say, it's quite of a scattered energy and I will tell you why. First of all, throughout this week, uh, many things are going to fall into their places and the awkward stuff is going to be that you are going to like how the things are falling around, all right? And you are to, even though seemingly they look very uh, uh, annoying, or it's not annoying, but very boring, you will be able to uh, uh, quite creatively express yourself uh, with those um, with those undertakings, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So um, I would like to say with these two cards that whatever enterprises you are to deal with throughout the week, you are going to be able to um, not just only maximize on them, all right, but accomplish them on 150%, more than you have expected, more than you have been expected to perform or a, a, a results that are way beyond the expectations of the others and way beyond the anticipating state of the others as well. Now, these two cards as well are divulging here that it does look like that these achievements of yours, which quite exceed, you know, the, the original expectations, are truly going to make you feel very, very good and very well. And in the eyes of others, you know, those, uh, those enterprises are going to look very insignificant in the sense of that, you know, who cares but for you it will matter and it will matter greatly and at the end of the day it all that matters is what matters to you all right what you do find substantial uh for yourself and for your well-being as well but the thing is that um how do i say it the thing is that 
uh, let's say that you are kind of like seeing your life gray and deprived from from anything exciting around and the funny thing I said a bit scattered or a bit awkward are going to be those energies because you're going to start liking it more and more that way and instead of seeing it boring and gray you will start seeing it in the other way around like uh, consistent and secure all right so th th there are th these are the, the the two ways how you can see it something that it is uh, that it is a um, uh, it flux itself con consistently you know you can see it as a boring and annoying or you can see it as stable and solid and this is how you're going to see your family your relationship life your career as well because you're going to enjoy what you're going to do you're going to enjoy you know how things are developing in your um in your environment the challenges here are going to be the eight of swords and the catalyst uh, the catalyst card it is the hierophant card so uh, it is uh, suffice to say here that not everything that you are planning is going to play around the way you are expecting and that is the beauty of it like i said this is exactly the circumstances which you are capitalized on to exceed your expectations but that doesn't mean that you are not going to aggravate yourself by the um by the fact that things may not go in your way um initially and that is for a reason being it is that you are way too stubborn it's just in the cards here guys you are stubborn and you are imposing self-limitations you uh, may not be prone at the start to look outside of the box or to think outside of the box or to consider other options available uh, different kind of uh, manifestation you know of your um, of your knowledge for example or of your um, of your skills as well so you have to to go out of your way and that is going to be the challenge itself to think irrationally to uh to approach situations in an unorthodox fashion okay and uh even though these um this performance may look a bit alien or you may feel like it is a bit alien to you you're gonna very quickly get the hang of it and uh, you are going to enjoy it and this is what is gonna make you see the beauty of your day-by-day -day routine of your day-by-day -day life of your relationship you're gonna find something different in there that is gonna keep feeding up your interest toward it then the next card it is about the positive aspect and that will be the four of swords and it is catalyzed here by the four of pentacles formation it is a active enemies that we do have so uh it's just a testament of you are covering the um the true potential of uh, of your current endeavors right and instead of wasting it around what you are going to do here is just catch up your breath. I mean, you know that, or you will know, you know that, for example, your relationship, it is as solid as it can be. So you don't have to frantically, frantically, excuse me, try to sustain it. Or same thing goes in regards to your career as well. And for that reason, taking your breath, it, it takes a very vital role in the future performance in there to expand its limits and to expand as well um, its... Um, its growth but also uh what is going to be positive throughout the week it is the conversations you're going to have with your husband or wife with your boyfriend or girlfriend with a person of interest with colleagues with with supervisors with bosses and etc etc and throughout those uh, conversations meaningful conversations that is um the limitations that the project your career your relationship you know or or you name it are gonna fall down okay so even if um here i will allow myself to give an example right so let's say you are uh you're working something and you have been stuck into the same place like forever and up until this point there was no um hope so rather like there was no uh indications that you are going to have an opportunity even to get promoted having conversation with your boss or with supervisor is going to bring down that limit of not being promoted and will put you in the queue for a promotion all right or that that could play around in engagement you know your partner up until this moment may have um, may even 
may have not even uh, considering engagement, but now through a meaningful conversations, this limitation is going to fall down and a, an engagement, for example, could be very well considered. And the last card here for you, Capricorn, is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering, and that is the uh, Empress card, and it is accompanied by the Knights of Wands. So, um, these are a passive neutrals that we do have, and maturity is uh, something that will play a, a huge role into your future development, or in your development throughout this uh, throughout this week. You should not be scattered, although the energies are gonna feel scattered, all right, and are gonna feel awkward. You shouldn't give an impression that you are feeling uncomfortable, at least in the initial days of, uh, of the week. But instead, should you are baffled in regards to what you are to do with your career or with your relationship, once again, Take your time because your decision needs to be well founded. It actually needs to have the right uh, convictions behind it, all right? Because these two cards are saying that you will not be able to avoid the, the, the consequences of it. And whatever you decide in favor of either bitter or sweet, it will be yours to collect and you will not be able to escape it. So do not rush anything throughout this week, Capricorn. Uh, definitely, uh, if you take your time, you can be more creative. Your, create, uh, your creativity is going to exceed your expectations big time. And you're going to be quite amazed and surprised of what you're capable of. And that will truly going to increase your joy of life, uh, your essential, um, essential joy of day by day routine, you know, and it's going to boost your confidence. And once again, your grave uh, environment is going to start becoming more and more colorful once again. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.